This is the P250, very effective for that long-range duel. Kenny, in the meantime, is going to be preoccupied by four dropping tees, and he hasn't hit either of them. They will descend into Jax's crosshairs, and he doesn't get a chance to re-peak. Nice shots from Dupree, double dink, and all four CTs are going to be rotating in from the same location. Who is that to receive them? It's Magisk, no armor, and does manage to retreat well. While Bomb has gone down, the retake begins. We've got four angry CTs here towards the lower Bomb side. They're all focusing towards the vent side, trying to swing towards Decom, but this is looking fantastic now for Astralis. Four versus two, Kenny S and Amanek remain. And they've got a smoke, but there's the kit. And it looks almost impossible for them to even get a kill. Seems unlikely. Uh, and Kenny S will be taken down eventually there. A very clean round from Astralis. Three for Glaive, two for Dupree. Job's good. One. He knows how powerful this position is, and he actually manages to find Nexa in transition. Will get caught in the back, Jax. Ooh. Now with a rifle, maybe it's game time. Yeah, they're certainly going to go Ooh. for it. Jax receives a grenade down a 31 HP in Hunter. He has to have a chance with the shotgun. His device has no idea. He has to get close as possible. Oh, no. It's not going to work out for the shotgun. It does for the AK-47. They could be onto something here. This kill might decide it. It's going to be Glade to pick it up. And maybe the chances of the round will Ooh. fall down with it. This kill from Kenny S. We find a fantastic Ooh. one deep. There is a chance here, but Jax being low. Magus almost has no chance of losing this now, considering he has no kip. He will time it to perfection as well. Confirm he's not defusing, and there'll be no time. So yes, they get all the kills. That's something. They'll save the AK-47. And now, Chad, do they force by into this next round. They've got all five players down. They've saved the AK, but they're on the CT side of Nuke. It's either going to be amazing for them if they bought into it, or it'll be catastrophic. That would be ridiculous, considering how much time has passed. Jax does find Device in the trade. Oh, the angles! He does do a full circle and manages to keep it competitive. 2v3 then. Let's see what Zipex and Dupree can do. Good flash from Dupree. He knows there's a possibility of a player towards the CT vent. Zipex trying Ooh. to flush him out, but there's a freebie towards the AWP as well. Luckily, Amanek will swing from that aforementioned vent. And we've got a two versus one. Dupree, a chance to win this one, but both CTs positioned towards Zappa. He'll actually choose to go lower, deny, but the smoke is down. And does he want to commit to the spray? Hunter certainly does. Very low on bullets, and Kenny hits Damn. the first. Excuse me, Dupree. Looking for the last now, and Amanek behind the smoke. Dupree could actually hit the Ooh. shot, and he does. It's banging. 4 0. G2, their best chance, and it's ripped from them by Dupree. So many, I don't mind it. We'll get him right back into the action. Three flashes towards main, and the spray comes in for those AK 47s, but it will be oh. a couple for Zipex. Oh, no. Making a triple, nothing but headshots here, and they've got the man advantage. Can they find five in a row? It's looking very good for it. Jax has just oh, caught a wow. nade. Now there's flames, and he's still burning. Kenny does find a moment's respite throwing out the nade. No one's home. So for him to come through that smoke and not just instantly nail that as device puts yet another nail in the coffin of round number five. If they can take this orb away from Kenny, this could be huge. Ooh. He's picking. Why is he fighting? Kenny! He should be okay with a flash at him. Oh, maybe not. Ooh. It's going to be close. He'll be fine. That lower one on two situation, and now here and bailing them out Whoa. of uh, what could have been a round for G2. Well, Kenny told us if things are going well, you'll see him playing his game, finding opening picks, and there's one for G2 delivered. That's two opening picks for Kenny. This time, unfortunately, he doesn't hold on to it for long. Dupree beheading Jax. Dupree's on something yeah. wild tonight. He looks oh. like a beast right now. This is uh, similar scenes to what we saw earlier in the week as well. And next up, doesn't look good for him. There's the first Dupree. Here we Might go. get to take him down, but there's the double. Finally, a round looking promising here for the likes of G2. Four versus two. And a bit of a wall bang attempt there. One bullet hit towards Hunter. And we've got Kenny S rotating back to his outside. Nice shoulder M4. And we've got a four versus one. Money still low for Astralis. Yeah. Oh, does find one, but quickly caught. Nice trade, nice setup. To the only rifler. He might want to throw that to someone else. Kenny in the vents with the orb, but he's made it work. Bomb that down. was the first and the bomb. The rest are coming a little slow. Not flashed, not too worried. He's got Jackson support as well. Looks like G2 are handling this with ease. And Ooh. great flicks from Kenny. Looks like he's warming up. That's more like it. A couple of rounds in a row for G2 should lead to a third as well. This was the full investment for Astralis. It hasn't yielded much oh, until no. Zipex. He's gifted too. Now, they're really going to have to start thinking about this one. They can't afford to give up another rifle towards him. Like I mean, that. he had five HP. I completely understand why. They want to get into this mindset of like, we're badasses. Yep. We're not scared of Astralis. Let's just finish this round off. Well, here comes the partial by the tech lines towards Ramp. Kenny has opened things up, and Jax looks very comfortable. He's staying for the fight here, and he's got some backup of Nexa Oof. as well. But Device always seems to find a couple of kills here, and another clean round. 
Might come under a bit of scrutiny. You know, gonna have the plant towards lower. Looks like that's almost certainly gonna happen. Device has been behind some of the most impactful Tech 9 frags I've seen since its reintroduction into the professional sure. play. He's done it again, found a double kill. Will it translate into anything more? Zipek's giving it a go now, and Device has got himself the AK. If he gets the timing on Hunter, he finds another no head. Way. There's no way they do no this. The way. Dinks. Both Zipex, dinks. he's got them both bleeding, hemorrhaging, oh. hamstrung. He's alley-ooped Device here for the ace. He could actually convert this one. One more shot in a Tech 9 will take oh, down Amadek. No. And that's surely here. Kenny S for the AWP. It was just Tech 9. They got the opening three kills, and then Device stealing two away with the Tech 9. He finds the AK. They get the go bomb on, down. Go an absolute <laughs> pandemonium ensues here. Device will find the final kill. They'll win out the half. Speculating. What kind of approach will G2 have here? Apparently a very aggressive no one. Way, How's he got that first kill? As Astralis fight back here for the lobby. The wall bands are attempted. Damage dished out on either side, but still, it will be now a four on three. Kenny S, he pull one back and Nexa, up. he's owned it. This is, this is brilliant stuff from G2. They've just thrown caution to the wind and said push. Put your pedal to the metal and go. They've pushed lobby. They push roof. Uh, this is what they did. Uh, this is what they did when they first we came together Heretics as a team. This, right? I remember XMS on these mad flanks. You and I personally saw this when we did ESL Pro League Season Ten. Well, it will be G2 to pick up the round and a force buy from Astral as they're absolutely Whoa. sending it towards the upper bomb side. They take a ton of damage. Amine will convert. And here we go once again, the brawl in the upper bomb side. First two kills for G2. No bomb to be planted as of yet. And if we caught the just down towards lower, he's got the bomb on his back oh. as well. So it could be a plan here. The Tech 9 tested once again. This time the rifle comes out on top. I thought this could have been enough. Now with only Glaive and Magisk, unfortunately, it's more of a bomb plan and some damage. Kenny not interested. They'll be able to defuse now. Glaive will take himself an AK-47 and retreat. That is G2, keeping it competitive. It looked like it was a disaster at 7-0. Now we find ourselves at 6-8. Kill back and response, Whoa. looking good. Looking very good. Takes Mages down, drops a smoke, suggesting he's fallen back, but he stayed around. Oh my god, I love it. He's gonna catch device here. No, he's not. Very quick from Deva into the top site. Three of them oh. flooding in. All three CTs are lower right now. And they're ready. Glaze holding the vent rotation. Oh, Nexa coming in from Secret. He has managed to get out of that choke point, but you can see Glaive is so prepared. That's the tightest of lines, but... Yield a frag. Running out of time here, getting into the halfway mark, and Amanek will need both kills. Not going to get anything at all. Looking for that final frag, and indeed it is. Astralis enter the server 7-0. Can he pushing up with an AWP? Yeah. Exciting scenes, and now here comes the upper Molotov, and the first headshot delivered. Dupree down to two points of help. Be lucky to even get a frag at this what? point, but Majisk, he finished the first half with two. He's equal that total already. Make it even better now after this pistol. That's going to be the round hunter. We're going to see if he can cause any damage. Are you joking? Majisk came into this half with yeah. two kills. And he's he... now got three in the second half. Well, that's incredible. He's just got his entire haul plus one. What a horrible way to start your first gun round. One of your star players taken out of the equation, but that is a great trade. 4v4 now in yard control, granted. Could still be very, very promising for cheat. Um, Bro, come on. Okay, he has a, actually a slight gap. He works with it. He's even caught a glimpse of another. This time, Jax catches him. Three to three, but still two SMGs for Astralis. Can they make it work, Hank? Now they've got up. They've got a smoke and a couple of flashes, a grenade though. Not quite full damage there, but certainly weakens them for the SMGs. Zipex has a molly here. Ready 20 seconds, it's getting awkward. Especially if Jax goes down, they've got two frags. Kenny Khan, Clutch and Magisk. He secures another for Astralis. That was a great chance for G2. Individualistic G2's priority coming into this one. And already we are seeing nice mow down of the ramp push. In fact, Device re-peeking into these deagles like they're ducks. He's not worried. And another Ooh, one yikes. clean to the jaw. And he takes his fourth as well. No sweat on his brow. Another day in the office. Working wonders. Device will manage to get to the first. Can't believe he's gotten away so cleanly. Glaive's got him covered from the vulnerability. You can see their protocols. They're so meticulously outlined. Ooh. And if Glaive gets a freebie, which he has, that could be it. Oh, oh he gets the bomb oh. down as well. They won't even get a chance to plant. Not a fun way to see 15 put on the board. You can see Kenny S. He's picked up the bomb and he's got Does 10 he seconds. Does he go? I guess he has he's, to. he's gonna just melt. Magisk will find him before he can consider the save. He didn't know what to do. In combination. So we're off to the races. Will it be top side? Nexa held at bay by Dupree. You can ramp. see they're going ramp. 
And Zipex, what the off angle he's gone for there. It actually gets in the double. Oh dear. It's ending right here. G2, they can't make a dent in Astralis' defense. Seven kills in the entire half. They're sent packing. Nice. Bit of a master here. He's got the USP. And he'll spot the first player there. Doesn't find the instant kill, but does a lot of damage towards Amanek there. Oh. Even more from Zipex. Yeah, they want to fight them at least a little bit. Now Kenny oh. met by Device in transition. He was moving the whole time. And he's found another head. Now Hunter completely isolated, but he does stand his ground. And with Smoke's pluming, there is still a very big shot. If G2 can get this bomb down, that is a big if though. Molotov's great. Glaive burning. Amanek's found one on the P250. Glaive desperate to challenge, but they've got away with it. Look at the health they're working with. Next are so low, even lower now. It's going to be very close here. Still a chance for G2, but maybe not so much anymore. They know Hunter's in towards short, but he's actually snuck through the smoke here. He will be taken down. A decent attempt there from G2 to get the bomb down. It's better than the pistol on Nuke. I'll say that much. 39 seconds. The flash and the perfect spray. He actually does damage. It's effectively killing two. Hunter's working with seven HP, and he's doing so much damage. He's finally knocked off his perch, but they're left with three. And now Dupree can come out of his hidey hole, and on quad, they just get melted, looking very prepared for the push. Huge. Okay, this is the A all in. Let's see. Very much all in. And Amanek already met by Glaive. Great resistance. The smoke is so effective. Look at the spray. Next is working with half health as well, and just before the Molotov fades, Magisk has found another. Kenny wants to equalize, and he takes matters straight into his own hands with a colossal frag. If he finds another, we're on, and woof, not far off. Whistles past the ear of one of the CTs on site. He got heavily tagged, though. Oh, he's oh, still getting killed. Oh. Down to two points of health, the HE follow-up as well, and we're down to the four versus two. Jackson next up, pulling one back here, but still with plenty of time, but not much manpower. Just Jax remaining, takes an A, lands at his front door, and just a matter of time before this one's closed out, the MP5 will get himself another $600 there, finds the AWP, pushing him into unfavorable positions, and he didn't spot him, Amanek grabs it in the end, takes himself down to 56, but that's a kill and return, 35 seconds now. This could be their B push. Nexa spotted, no oh. he doesn't. Device doesn't see him, and neither does Nexa. He still has the element of surprise, and he's got the Tech-9, and whoa, no, what's that? What? He adjusts to Kenny S in time to find the first. Now, still working at a disadvantage. They've got to get the bomb down. They've got 14 seconds. Where do you go? Nexus got a plan, but Dupree's on the site. And he's still... Oh, my God, he's hit the shot. They can still win this. In fact, they will with Amanek finding his third frag. G2 on for their first. Glaive to clutch. And there it is. Nexus will find it. It was looking like an impossible round for G2 there, but they make it work. This is a bit of a must win. It would actually break the money of Astralis as well. There's the first kill. Zipex going down and Magisk will respond, but it's up to Device oh. now. Dupree will find the frag that takes the lead here. Oh, Three yeah. versus one. Device he is on a mad one tonight. Amanek will pull one back from CT Spawn with a bomb. Bear in mind, it's down a forklift. Okay, so he does have to get a wiggle on. Yeah, like he'll have to be running now, really, to convince me he can even plant the bomb and then he realizes it. Off he goes and Glaive. He still has full control. He knows that he can drop this incendiary around now. And there we have get it. a chance. Glaive, great play. We'll see if that rings true. Wow. First one found. And the second will be Jewel Dow. It's going to be back to the three on three, though. Very important kill for Magus. Can't quite find it, but there it is. 25 seconds remaining device. He'll find the penultimate frag. Yeah, he's just in the right place at the right time every time. And that should be it. Jax would have to be gifted this one. It's every like confirm it now. I feel, like you just said, I feel like just as you said <laughs> that, you've confirmed it. Yeah, yeah, no, Jax. Unfortunately, no time. He's just going to be backing away. That damage was enough to dissuade, and he'll be backing off towards T spawn. Bomb on his back, but absolutely no time. AK-47 for Zipex there. Here, and we need to see some fight from G2 here. They're going all in towards A. I don't know about you, Chad, but I'd rather get stomped by Astralis than Fun Plus Phoenix. One of them sounds like a CS team, and one of them sounds like a McDonald's toy. <laughs> and uh, unfortunately for G2, we had a bit of hype around that round, some uh, timeout as well, but ultimately the same result. A nice shot from Kenny S, but it leads to nothing. 9-1 Astralis, the double kill. Get everyone fired up here. We'll see. Oh, Device taking an aggressive line in the spray from Dupree. Just the double Ds, and they've done it all. Nexa only with an armored Deagle, and he's got five of them breathing down the back of his neck. 
This round ends <laughs> at 1 minute 35. I'm Hunter, and I want to try and find... Wow, you just get a quick flash. And Zipex, he goes oh, and finds your teammate on, as well. Give, Give him, him a, a chance. chance. Anything. It's like when you, you're playing against, you know, your little they, brother. To be fair, Chad, they did lose a five on two in round That's six. That's true. They did so give him a chance. there is something here. Maybe there is again. A you never know. Five, give it to me. Perfect uh, angle. Okay. Well, maybe not. Great shot. Kenny's been having a couple of them, but unfortunately, not a single one has translated into a round win. Yes. Uh, it's one of those things, like you're in Inferno sort of thing. Just keep rushing, but Arna, eventually one of these will work out, but oh, it's the exact God. same result. Oh, God. They haven't even done damage yet, as Glaive... He knows this round's still possible to lose, so might be really in at this stage. Kenny pulls one back, four versus two. Kenny and Amanek remain close as they've been in a while. Kenny, he's managed to hit a couple of great shots, but they haven't led to much success. And it could be the same story here. Just Amanek remaining here, and he will pull one back, 20 seconds. Here we go. Close as they've been in some time here. And not going to convert, 13 to one. Uh, G2, when they play Vertigo, if they lose it, they average 13.5 rounds. And it's going to be Nexa to start us off in the proceedings this time, favoring G2. Maybe Hunter can find another. This is what he does best, but he's been completely muzzled. And Hunter finally ripping the muzzle from his jaw and bears his canines. 4v3, bomb yet to be planted. That does go through. Best shot we've seen from G2, just to try and finish with something to show for this T side. So, final round here. G2 look good to get their second. I don't think it'll be enough, but the smoke comes down. The defuse could be available. Hunter watching the bomb like a hawk. Let's raise the first device, hits it. Glaive hits another. Not like this. Nexa will deal with it. It's a 13 to 2 half. And uh, surprising maneuvers here. There's a gap. Oh. Nexa could actually do enough of this one. And oh, oh, Dupree, what a maneuver. Crouches under his crosshead there, makes him look silly. How's he ready for that? And he's more than ready. Amanek will have to drop the smoke and... Oh, Kenny does get hit by the howitzer. Astralis have released and Dupree, well... Oh, goodness me, it's just a mess. Amanek and Kenny S yes, left on the chopping block and Glaive rips another... Just takes the nose off of Kenny. Yes, Amanek. They can just go to preserve his face. Plan. They could go to anywhere they want, to be honest, Chad. Everywhere they go, death and destruction seems to follow. Well, that's the round. Oh, no look, real they... point building this one up anymore. Amanek might be able to get a couple of kills, I suppose, but ultimately they should have swarm him like this, and there'll be nothing found at all. Three for Dupree. What an influential play from the connector as well. It seems a well. This is a perfect co commentator <laughs> Missing his shots. Nexa does get caught. Glaive aggressive. And he doesn't have too much support. Now he will. Oh, the flash. Jax, five seconds without any vision as has restored. There's three T's jumping at him. Mac 10 for Magisk. And he will catch him through the pillar. Hunter needs a fresh clip, but he won't get the chance. It's Device who's on for the Twitch clip instead. Championship point has been found for Astralis now. Amanek. The last player remaining, they're going to get $2,400 on top of that zero. 15-2 down. I think you know which way this one is going. But there's a kill. Aye, aye, aye. That's not even recoverable in terms of the weapon. Do you think people at home might get upset if we said, uh, call this one done? Uh, yes. I was going to, but I, I, that's why. You I held yourself it. back? Yeah, yeah exactly. Held it back, 15-2. Exactly. We can't even say this one might be done. Championship point, though. And the nades, double of them, of course. They seem to travel in pairs. Noah's nades and device. He's found them the opening on air. He's so pushed up. He's right behind enemy lines. He's thinking he can win this round on his own, and it looks like he's off to with the races already. Double kill. And a Molotov in perfect timing for Kenny. Yes, he's going to burn. He's burning. It's spreading straight into the aim. <laughs> Come on, boys. Device has had enough. He has got dinner plans. You're absolutely right. And he's taking a look at his watch. He's got to get this one done. Two remaining for G2, and it could be just two for G2 to end this grand final. I think he might be right. We're coming to the last couple of kills here. Astralis have done it. Nexa, he knows what's up next. Just Apex jumping and a great shot, reminiscent of a long gone player in the name of Scream. And now he's found a second, needs a third, and Device has gone down a fresh mag. He hasn't got a kit. If only he did, he wishes. He could just have spent the extra 400 bucks. It's not possible. Clay will win it 16 to 2. One of the very first stomps of the road to Rio, and it's in the final map of the grand final.